Hi, Heather Paris here of LiveInspiredNow.com and welcome to day four of A Week of Stories. Today I'm going to share a story that very few people have heard. Um, I've never told this story publicly, I don't think, so it's kind of a stretch for me. So I wanted to talk about a bad very bad habit that I had for probably 25 years or so, and that was nail biting. I bit my nails from the time I was a baby. I mean, just little. As soon as I figured out I could put my nails in my mouth and bite them, I did. And I bit my nails all the way up until I was about 25. Now, the best that I can figure is that that nail biting came from extreme social anxiety that I had when I was younger, um, constantly concerned about what was happening around me, what people were thinking about me and things like that. So I always bit my nails. My parents tried to do everything they could to get me to stop. I mean, they tried putting on this special stuff that tastes terrible to um, prevent me from biting. They wrapped my fingers up. I mean, they did everything. They punished me. They lectured me. They they yelled at me, they embarrassed me, I mean pretty much everything, and I never ever stopped biting my nails. It was terrible. In fact, one of the worst times was, I think it was about middle school, um, and this is kind of embarrassing, but um, in around middle school at some point, I had bitten my fingernail, my this middle finger actually, down so close to... Um, you know, it was like a bloody stub so close to the bottom that it got infected. And um, I showed my mom because it hurt so bad. And the finger right there where the nail is started to turn green. And so um, ap after visiting a doctor, the doctor had said, you know, we may actually have to amputate her finger. And um, so my mother was not having that. And she called my great grandmother. Um, we called her grandma in the wheelchair because she had polio when she was little. So she always spent her whole life in the wheelchair. So grandma in the wheelchair said to my mom to hollow out a potato and stick it on my finger and the potato would draw the infection out. So that's exactly what happened. My mother put a hole in a potato and made me wear it on my finger. And um, it was absolutely humiliating. And then one of my closest friends, Danny, um, who's like my brother, we grew up together. Our fathers were best friends and in the army together. Danny started calling me Tater Finger, which he still to this day, once in a while, will say Tater Finger and laugh at me. Um, which at that time I found humiliating. Now I really don't care. Um, but it, it was so embarrassing. I had to wear that stupid potato on my finger for days. But it really did work and it really did save my finger, which was good. I lost the nail, but as you can see, it did grow back. And now I have my nails beautiful. This one is actually painted purple for polio. Um, the Rotary Club uh, raises funds for polio prevention. And we give the purple finger to polio. So that's why that finger is that color. But anyway, when I was about 25 years old, I was applying for jobs and becoming more professional. And at that time, when I was interviewing, I was seeing all these beautiful, put together business women who looked so professional and just so like they just had it all together, you know. And the thing that I noticed was none of them had bloody stumps for fingers. They all had beautifully manicured nails. And so... Um, in an attempt to break myself of this habit that I had for 25 years. Let me tell you, I tried everything to stop biting my nails and I just couldn't. And so I went to the nail salon and I had them glue fake nails right onto my bloody, disgusting stump fingers. And um, I left those fake nails on until my own nails finally grew out. And um, I just, through sheer will and through continuing to keep my fingernails manicured, I finally broke free of that disgusting habit of biting my nails. And now you can see my nails are beautiful. And these are my nails. They're not fake nails. Um, I always go out and get them manicured because um, it's important for me to remember to keep them nice and healthy and to not bite my nails. Um, it was a long time that I did that. I'm 44 now, but for 25 years, I, I bit my nails and it was absolutely disgusting. So what is the lesson that I got from all this? That, you know what, no matter how bad a habit is or how unhealthy it is, you can change it. You can, if you change your attitude and change your 
your, you know, the thing that you're getting from it. Because for me, I was getting relief from anxiety. And I didn't even know it. I would sit and bite my nails and not even realize that I was doing it. And it was because of that social anxiety and always feeling nervous. Um, so when I worked through anxiety and mental illness, right, because anxiety is just, a you know, something to do with your mind. Um, then then I was really able to say that I put nail biting behind me. And um, totally worth it too. Because now I get to go get mani pedis and my nails always look beautiful. Um, but yeah, and, and Danny, I'm sure he's going to watch this video and call me tater finger again. But that's okay. Because it's part of who I am. And it made me who I am today. So I'm really grateful. But yeah, nail biting, yuck. That was That was the worst habit that I ever had.